I'm Janelle Weekly, and my position is Curatorial Specialist Senior in care of the photo collections at Arizona State Museum. That means just making sure that they are kept safe and accessible to the public. Broadly, our collection covers the cultures of the Southwest, so all the indigenous communities. There's 22 tribes in Arizona, and we have photo documentation of all of the communities. Also, archaeology that's been done in Arizona and the Southwest. This is a set of eight millimeter films from 1936 to about 1942. We also have videos. Some of the films aren't in super great condition, and the only thing that will arrest that and slow it down is to put them in a freezer. So these are orotones, and they're on glass. To get the gold tone, either banana oil with gold pigment or gold leaf are used and it gives it a real three-dimensional quality and very luminous quality. Both of these images are by William Dinwiddie who swung through here in the mid-1890s and this one's out at the Tahana Atam community probably near Sanavir and we know the woman is named Joanna Victoriana which is really Wonderful to have a photo that old and we know her name. And this one is a group of Apache people, probably near San Carlos. I think this is our oldest print and it's a stereograph. The image is by Timothy O'Sullivan and it's from 1873. Helga Tivis was the Arizona State Museum's photographer for 30 years. These are some of the ones by Helga of the Tahana Atam people. Her photographs probably make up easily a third of our collections. And she documented pottery making, agriculture, you name it. She would go to the communities and get permission to photograph. So Rupert and Gia made three pots and she documented every phase of each of the pot, those three pots. Her work touched so many lives and she, she created such beauty for every single person she photographed. I think we have a legacy of the colonial white people coming out here and I think we've over the years been really good about sh working more closely with the tribes instead of telling them we're <laughs> better at listening to them. I'm sure we have a long way to go. We have our Southwest Native Nations Advisory Board and it's a group of members from each of the tribal communities in Arizona. Once a year they come and we present about what exhibits and public programs we have coming up, and we seek their advice. Grandma was born in the 30s. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so around this time she was probably an infant. So I teach the history and culture of Yaqui people. It's offered at the reservation. We can offer it tuition free to our community members. I think when they come in here and they're looking at these photographs, a lot of the, just the general histories we talk about start fitting in, or that at least they can see how their families were part of that. 
that era that we just talked about. Yes, some of these photographs might have been taken during a questionable time or should have they been taking pictures in the first place. We really do have to be careful. Just got to be critical of, of everything and, and find um, what you need. I think that when, when our students are able to understand that and be able to use that for their own purpose, their own work, their own learning path, I think it's great. I didn't even know this existed until I took Annabelle's class. Looking through the archives, I felt a deep connection to my history and my roots. And it really was profound to know that I have a, a history and I have roots and I, have, I come from a tribe. It's a good feeling to know that.